all right today we'll be learning the foundational of networking that is virtual networks entire architecture will be deploying from the scratch that is this is a greenfield development even if you're new to azure please do not worry i'll be guiding you the entire step so let's dive into the portal the portal looks something like this since i've used virtual networks it appears here also we can type virtual uh, networks here it will also appear here right so anyway if uh, works fine so we have we are into the virtual networks now next we need to click on the create button so virtual network is uh, nothing but a uh, like a logical representation of our own network so next uh, we, we need to select the subscription and resource group where we want to create the virtual network next we need to name our virtual network let's uh, name it amit vnet next uh, the region this looks good to us next uh, we uh, let's click on the next button next goes the security passion firewall ddos since this is a basic tutorial we uh, don't want much of these features now for now let's move on to ip addresses this is one important concept so this is like the uh, entire range uh, what what we need that is 16 uh, here we have the count of the addresses 65,000 something right so this is the entire count then is the subnet so sub subnet is nothing but a like uh, the we can group our resources as per uh, the sec security requirements we can put the like let's say sql uh, yeah, servers virtual machines creating different subnets as well all right so we have the add subnet button but for now we will create the default subnet because if we look at the architecture diagram here we are creating everything in the default subnet so we'll be following this entire architecture diagram throughout our um, tutorial so yeah, since we can see uh, 10.6 uh, 10.00016 so that's what we have used here if you look 10.0016 and the we have used the default one this looks good so let's uh, move ahead with the next step so next is the tags we can type tags if you want next is the review and create the validation is running this looks good let's click on the uh, create button so our virtual network is uh, getting deployed for now we need to uh, wait a couple of minutes till it gets ready when it gets ready our next step uh, would be if you look at the architecture diagram is to deploy or to create uh, two virtual machines inside the subnet right default subnet which we have created just now so let's wait till the deployment is in progress and gets completed all right our deployment is now completed so now let's create virtual machine that is we'll start the process of creating virtual machine let's click on create azure virtual machine the first one now let's select the resource group where we want the virtual machine next we need to uh, name the vm that is um, uh, since there are, there are two VM, let's uh, type it, name it Amit VM1 for the first one. Region looks uh, good to us. Next, um, we need to select ability zones. For for us, it's uh, like uh, looks good. Zone 1 is, we are good. Next is the image, that is the software build. So software build, let's select as the Azure Edition, um, this one, Gen 2. And this looks good. Then we need to select the size. Let's select... Uh, p2s general purpose all right this this also looks good next we need to create username and password so that when we rdp we can uh, use those credentials so let's type it amit let's give it a password so our password matches now next is to configure the inbound ports since we'll be rdping it we uh, need this port we can also additionally use uh, if you want to SSH or HTTP, we can also select these ports. But please make sure whatever ports you open, uh, make sure like you uh, open the minimum whatever you require. Do not open more ports uh, if you are uh, into security person or if you are a security engineer. It will be a problem uh, explaining to the management, right? So uh, for this tutorial, uh, we'll uh, select this. Now for the licensing, we don't have existing license. So next, next move to disk. So we have the... Uh, default one uh, we don't need premium so we'll use the uh, uh, maybe the uh, lightweight uh, standard uh, ssd is fine for our uh, tutorial and this looks good now next uh, move on to the networking tab so this is important why this is important because in the previous step we have created virtual network right so we need to select our uh, virtual network so by default it selects the newly created uh, virtual network which is fine amit vnet that's what we want 
the subnet uh, you can check it's uh, automatically the, uh, selected the default one that's what we want so we are uh, good for now if you look the inbound ports are also there it looks good we don't need load balancing next is the management tab in the management tab we don't need uh, these things i will keep it as default for boot diagnostic let's disable it we don't need uh, any kind of diagnostic because we are not doing any kind of diagnostic in this tutorial this is custom data if you want to bootstrap or uh, you want uh, something to load uh, during uh, when the virtual machine gets started you can uh, uh, paste it uh, the custom uh, next is the tags you can write uh, key with these are key value pairs we know like the dev environment and the value will be virtual machine those kind of things this is optional again next review and create all right our validation passed so now uh, let's go ahead with a create button because we are done uh, creating one of the virtual machine if you look here one virtual machine is created we need to create one configure the virtual machine so that they can ping each other i'm right so we'll be doing that since our uh, deployment is uh, getting ready we can um, uh, duplicate this tab uh, in order to save time and we'll repeat the uh, process for uh, virtual machine uh, 2 as well so let's uh, repeat the process so let's click on create virtual machine let's select resource group name the uh, virtual machine amit vm2 let's uh, go down let's select the image image will be will be selecting the same image let's uh, select the size the uh, b2s general purpose let's go down username for rdp to this one as well we need to create username and password let's uh, create one if you're a security admin please keep this uh, add username and password as uh, safe with you uh, because we don't want too many people to uh, log in and create some trouble for us so next uh, let's select the uh, standard one to save some cost let's select go to the networking tab here again uh, please note this is important step virtual network it should be amit vnet because as per the architecture diagram we need to select the vnet which we created just now so that two virtual machines will reside inside the vnet and also in the default subnet so that's what we are doing now if you look here default subnet default this one right so we are good as per the architecture diagram next go to the management tab we don't won't find much here monitoring let's disable boot diagnostic let's go to the advanced we are not doing anything go to review and create all right our validation passed so let's uh, create a vm2 so we currently got two virtual machines right one is uh, vm1 if you look which is named as amit vm1 uh, which is in progress deployment and this uh, vm is also on the edge of uh, getting deployed so let's uh, wait for a while uh, after these both vms are ready we need to configure because directly we cannot ping each other right if you uh, try it won't work so that's what we will be doing now after the deployment of both the vms is ready so vm1 is currently uh, ready for now let's uh, wait for vm2 all right our both vms are ready now so let's uh, click on go to the resource both for both so first in order to ping we need to uh, go to the networking tab networking settings all right in the uh, networking settings if we look we need to uh, create one port rule let's select inbound port rule right let's uh, select protocol icmp v4 this is what is available source is any destination is any looks good action is allow priority we can uh, set we'll leave it to default we, we need to click on add now so it's uh, creating security rule security rule are kind of a uh, uh, firewall we'll see uh, it filters uh, unwanted traffic and uh, uh, like we only need uh, currently vm1 right so uh, okay so we are uh, done with this we need to check whether icmp is enabled or not so in order to check we need to rdp into the machine since i'm using uh, windows machine so uh, it will be directly i uh, can directly rdp if you're using mac or linux please uh, download rdp software and then uh, you can uh, rdp into the uh, virtual machine so please note we are rdping into vm uh, amit vm2 this is the second one where we have download uh, like opened uh, icmp click on download key let's open the file let's try to rdp it asks for a password so password do you remember like when we created the virtual machine it asked for admin name uh, username and password which i mentioned to keep it as safe right so we are good let's click on ok now let's select yes 
so it's uh, trying to configure remote session for us we are uh, are dipping into the machine now all right this is one important thing do you want to allow pc to be discoverable we need to select it as yes if you don't select yes we'll be having trouble regarding the ping part yeah right when we won't be able to ping uh, uh, using the other virtual machine so let's uh, close this here we need to select whether icmp is enabled or not we'll use uh, windows defender a firewall with advanced security we can use this to check it let's click on inbound rules and let's um, expand this or maybe uh, make it big maximize this we need to check here uh, the printers and all if you look so if you look here file printer echo request this this one icmp4 and uh, v6 its uh, protocol is uh, now enabled uh, so we are uh, good for now so we can close this vm as well but for now let's minimize this so our vm2 is ready or configured fully now let's use uh, vm1 to reach vm2 so for vm2 let's uh, let me show you will uh, be getting uh, the public ip address as well as private ip address right so uh, whenever we'll be ping uh, since uh, both the networks are internal to azure so we can use our uh, private ip addresses right to communicate with each other it will de by default use let me show you how azure uses it so let's go to vm1 this is the other vm we haven't rdp into this so this is the first time we are uh, trying to rdp let's click on connect same way we need to click on download rdp file and let's click on keep uh, this one is the vm1 let's open the file connect let's let me remove this thing this one is vm1 let's type the password and try to rdp into the virtual machine select yes all right our uh, vm1 is almost ready again we need to select this yes uh, because we need to ping the other vm let's select yes uh, i'll also mention you how to troubleshoot it if you forgot to select yes or uh, by mistake selected no there I'll also I'll let you know for now let's close these things because we don't need uh, we'll open uh, powershell to ping and powershell we have right click will run as admin all right we uh, got now let's try to ping vm2 we are into vm1 right so we we can directly mention the vm name ping vm2 and check whether it's working or not all right so if you look uh, if you type uh, the wrong uh, name our uh, vm2 name if you look is something amit vm2 right if you type the wrong vm name it will throw an error so it's uh, good to commit some error so that we can like debug later on let's select vm2 ping vm2 let's check if it's working or not so it says timed out means it might be having some problem maybe right so as mentioned uh, if anything goes wrong uh, we need to troubleshoot it so let's uh, try to troubleshoot it if you uh, see it's 100 percent loss so the vm one cannot communicate ping vm2 currently right uh, on the other hand like let's uh, type something this one uh, google.com see if we uh, type google.com it instantly gives results and it's zero percent loss so as mentioned if both your vms are unable to uh, communicate to each other we need to configure one settings this is something which i uh, learned let's click on settings we need to do this on both the virtual network uh, vms click virtual internet ethernet advanced sharing here we need to turn on the discovery also for file and printer sharing if you want to use file printer it's uh, good if not then also fine let let's turn on click on save settings uh, so we are uh, done uh, with a vm1 same settings let's minimize uh, i have already opened vm2 right so vm2 let's close this defender one let's close this one as well let's go to settings and repeat the same process so uh, this is important step if sometimes you face trouble regarding the uh, ping part if ping is not working please make sure to turn on this one turn on network discovery or also file uh, printer sh uh, sharing if you want um, so we are uh, good the same changes are saved so let's uh, go back once again to uh, maybe vm1 and try to ping once again that is uh, amit vm2 now if you check the instantly we are getting reply and it's zero percent loss it means our vm are able to ping each other or communicate to each other also if you note as mentioned i have mentioned you the private ip address just note this thing right we are into vm1 and try to ping vm2 so vm2 
uh, if you look uh, note this private ip address now let's go back to the console for azure vm2 if you look the private ip address is this one same as that one right whenever we type ping uh, the Azure Virtual Machine name, it will by default take the private IP address because if you look at the architecture diagram, both the virtual machines are internal to Azure network. So they can communicate via private IP address as well. Public IP address is optional. We don't um, need it uh, for such kind of tutorial. Uh, but um, yeah, for the simplicity, I put it. Uh, yeah. Um, so for uh, VM1 as well, uh, we can uh, check out the uh, private IP. Uh, if you are like confused or want to confirm uh, these things, uh, the um, uh, private IP address is uh, what's it's uh, for this one VM1 it's 10.0.0.4 right. So this is uh, definitely what we needed. Let's go back to the architecture diagram what we have done. So we have successfully created one uh, VNet then created one default subnet then deployed two virtual machines uh, then in one virtual machine that is in VM2 that is Amit VM2 we have uh, configured icmp uh, inbound uh, inbound rule uh, then in both the vm we have uh, enabled uh, the file sharing uh, option uh, using the settings and then we have uh, pinged uh, vm2 uh, using vm1 so that concludes the tutorial for a virtual network in azure the basics i hope you found this tutorial